Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Redis as a messaging queue with Spring integration components. So what I have here is a simple Spring Boot application. So I'll show you, I created a configuration file. There's nothing here yet. And there is a controller. Uh, it's going to be a Rust controller. It's going to uh, be a post mapping. So we are going to accept a request and try to send it uh through the redis queue okay and i have an object a student object which has id first name last name age and gender uh the application.yaml doesn't have anything just the server.port i'll quickly show you my pom.xml so my pom.xml i have the you know spring boot parent uh, uh tags there and then i have the starter web kit here the redis.clients for the redis then i have the uh, spring integration redis artifact that has been added as a dependency here and then pretty much you know the default things that come with the creation of the project so let us quickly jump into and let's create the endpoints and then let's try to send a request let us see how the request goes and comes back to you so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a messaging gateway so let me create a interface which is called as message gateway okay I'm going to annotate this with other right of messaging gateway so other right of messaging gateway is acts as an interface that serves as a proxy abstraction over the messaging structure and you will have all your method signatures here so in our case, what we are going to have is like, we are going to have a, a generic method that doesn't return anything. And I have to annotate it with the gateway annotation. And let me also mention uh, the request channel. So, so I created my request channel. Uh, so when someone uses this interface to send a message, they'll be sending their message to this input channel. So you can have a, a number of you know method signatures here depending upon your needs. For this example, we're going to get, have only one signature. Next, let's go and configure our uh, configuration file. So first, let us use enable enable integration. And then let's use integration component scan. Say spring com dot spring boot. So at the rate of enable integration is useful when you have multiple config files in your application along with the spring and integration configurations so in this case i'm going to have only one configuration uh, it, you don't have to add it but for for the you know, for the betterment of understanding this example right i'm just adding it here and then i have the integration component scan this is used for class path scaling just like other rate of component scan but restricted to spring components where other rate of component scan cannot reach so in this case, you don't have to add this because you're going to have only one configuration with Spring uh, integration components uh, configuration in it. But for the betterment of understanding, right, I'm going to add it here. So then uh, the next thing that you have to do is like, you have to create the JDS connection factory for Redis. So basically what you'll do is like uh, you'll have the you'll have to set the host name here uh, for example say hook host and then set port you'll be setting up the port here but you know since it's going to be the local host and uh, you know it's going to be the default port you know in this case you don't have to set it uh, you know it will be automatically recognized so I'm just going to create this bean right here okay so then uh, let's create our channel 
So for this example, I'm going to use a direct channel. Uh, let's say receiver channel. All right. So the basic setup has been done. And in order to use Redis, right, uh, you have to make use of the Redis queue message driven endpoint. So this endpoint is a specific endpoint, especially for you know Spring integration to be used with the Spring integration components. So you'll have to create a bean of Redis queue message driven endpoint. So let's create one. So we have this endpoint here. So So this Redis queue messaging endpoint uh, takes in two arguments. So one is a string and the other is the Redis connection factory. So we have the connection factory here. Let's pass in this connection factory here. And then the string is nothing but your queue name. So here I'm going to hard code it, but you know, in a, in a regular case, right? You might be getting this from the property file or you might be getting it from the application itself. So depends upon the use case. So then I'll have the endpoint. Uh, let's set, try to set the output channel. So the output channel is going to be the receiver channel. And then put an put in the endpoint. Okay, it's output channel name. Okay, so the configuration is done. So next, what we have to do is like we have to create a class that has the service actuators and other stuffs. So let me create a package called listener and then let me create a class it's going to be a message listener all right so it's added in the component annotation here and then what we have to do here is so let's take a look at our message gateway it's going to come to input channel. So let's create a service actuator for the input channel. So our input channel, uh, the input channel for this particular uh, service actuator is going to be from the input channel. And then let's say it's going to get a message and then return a message. So let's say receive from service. Okay. So we have to return this. All right, let's let's put in a system out and let's say result from service. So from here, it has to go to an output channel. So now let us send it to our Redis channel. Uh, in my next video, let us see how to send this message to the actual Redis queue. Thank you.